Greetings. And salutations. My beautiful beings of light. That energy roll a coaster that you are riding on is going and going and going, just like the Energizer Bunny in the TV commercials. When you all volunteered, pre-incarnation, for this assignment, my beloveds, you were shown glimpses of what you would be experiencing and you all agreed and showed up for this adventure slot and now. My beautiful beings of grace, there was never anything that you read, pre-incarnation, before volunteering, that said this was going to be easy or a cakewalk assignment. You accepted because you could see that the mission was interesting, challenging and had a rewarding outcome on an om inverse level. There had been nothing like it before. Interestingly enough you are carrying all the tools and data with you that you will ever need including a connection from home to receive downloads. The downloads are the updated keys, codes, and information that would be light-coded to open at the precise moment and now when the knowledge is needed. The universe, my beloveds works on a need-to-know basis. The one main criteria my beloved beings of light is that you must first remember how to access the tools and information that you came with. This is where meditation comes in my beloveds. Meditation doesn't have to be laborious and tiring. It simply is a word that helps you understand on many levels beside your human structure that it takes quiet moments of going back into yourself to find and locate your own most perfect answers. Meditation for some is a walk in the woods, or sighting on a swing in your backyard, or staring out a window into the clouds, or sitting silently quieting the chatter of your mind as you ask yourself a question, searching for an answer. There is no right or wrong way my beloveds. Simply ask yourself what works best for you. Simply try what feels right for you. The second part of inner guidance information retrieval, my beloveds, is not allowing your ego self or conscious mind to analyze away the received information whereby creating doubts of accuracy about what has been received. Each of you receive daily inner spiritual guidance, whether you consciously perceive and recognize the transmissions or not. My beloveds, learning to focus your attention on the first thoughts that pop into your awareness. This is the key to help you recognize and acknowledge the guidance you are being provided. Clearing and releasing your energy field debris along with releasing all those things that no longer support your current belief systems and programs is suggested. Would it surprise you to realize that each of you probably have stuff hanging around your energy fields that you accepted as true when you were five years old? but now that you are gone that five-year-old perception no longer supports that fear or data. It is amazing how much stuff one can accumulate within their energy essence within a lifetime that they no longer believe to be true. It's time to peel away the onion layers that are doing nothing but clogging up your guidance filters. You say but I've been working on this, and it is true, but the very fact that you are still in human construct where your own energy fields are passing through others' energy fields daily is pause to constantly be vigilant about keeping your own energy centers in alignment and in tip-top shape, my beloveds. Keeping all in alignment and centered helps you plant the seeds of new potentiality and to welcome the blossoms of new beginnings. Allow this messenger to take you on a mediation journey to your very own celestial greenhouse sit in a chair or lie down whichever is your preference. It's time to be comfortable and undisturbed for a while as you journey within yourself through meditation. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths in and out. Visualize with each in-breath, you are breathing in love and renewal. With each out-breath, you are breathing out pain, fear, frustrations, and doubts. With the last out breath feel your body relaxing. Allow and give yourself permission to feel the calm, peace and serenity of this safe place. My beloveds ask your ego self to perch on your left shoulder. Instruct your ego self that it is only to be an observer on this journey, it is not to participate. Through prayer to the creator please ask the creator to share with you a translucent golden shield of light. Visualize it all around you forming a bubble from head to toe protecting you from all outside influences and giving you warmth, radiance, light, and power. Negatives will simply bounce harmlessly off your shield of protective light. My beloveds, the Creator has responded to your prayer. Your protective bubble has been supplied. 
The energies for this bubble will continue to flow from the Creator, cycling back down through you again, and back to the Creator in a continuous circular loop while you are in meditation. You are now divinely protected at this moment and nothing can even communicate with you, that is not for your highest good, without your permission. Breathe in deeply my beautiful beings of light and sense the lighter relaxed feelings of being divinely protected and guided into this meditation. Breathe in deeply and know that you are breathing to the pulse of the Creator. Breathe in deeply allowing, seeing and sensing within your spiritual imagination your guardian angels and invited spirit guides as they join you now. The angels take your spiritual etheric essence hands and guide you out of your physical body. The angels then direct you into your etheric spiritual heart chakra. An angel is staying with your physical essence until you return from your meditation journey. My beloveds, you are visualizing, seeing, feeling and sensing this within your imagination, your guardian angels, spirit guides and special invited guests are with you now within your spiritual heart chakra. Your angels and guides are helping you locate the golden door that says to my highest guidance within. In your imagination you have located the golden door and now you turn the etheric spiritual door knob, opening the door as you cross over the threshold knowing that you are on a spiritual growth adventure. You find yourself in a white marble corridor. Your angels greet you with gardening clothes, gardening shoes, hand shovel and gardening gloves. You quickly change in the dressing room around the corner. You look at yourself in the dressing room mirror. You do indeed look like a gardener and the outfit is in all of your very favorite colors. Smiling from ear to ear you walk back out. The angels push the elevator button and the elevator door opens. You step inside and notice how warm, safe, secure and inviting the elevator cab is. The angels push the up button labeled Celestial Greenhouse and away you go. In the blink of an eye the elevator stops and the door opens. You step out on a pink cloud path and you notice that there is a sign with arrows pointing the way to your very own celestial greenhouse. You feel happy and the thought of gardening sounds fun. You reach the celestial greenhouse and this messenger is standing there holding the door open for you. You walk in and notice that there are rows and rows of plants of all types. The rows are labeled with signs like belief systems, programming, energy fields and on and on the row labels go. As a matter of fact they are never ending, but for today focus your attention on the row that is labeled belief systems. Your angels are directing you to that row and what you are seeing is rather interesting. There are plants that are healthy, lush and thriving and then there are those that are beginning to wilt, dying or dead. The angels are providing the instructions to begin pulling up those that are wilting, dying and dead and placing them in the bucket that the angels are handing you. You will notice that each one that you are pulling up has a story that is being imparted to you as you pull. You sense and agree that this is an area that no longer is something that you hold as true or valid. With each pull, you are telling the plant that you are releasing it now and thank it for its lessons and information, but you no longer need to hold this outdated belief system in your ever-evolving energy fields any longer. You continue pulling until you reach the end of the row each time communicating with the plant that its lessons are no longer things that you need to carry forward but thanking it for its service. Your bucket is overflowing and it is time for you to ask the angels to vaporize the debris that it contains. You give the angels permission to vaporize the contents and you see it flash before your eyes. You feel a clearing that is rather like a quick awakening that something has left that was holding you back from new possibilities to come forth. You smile and take a moment to appreciate that awareness dawning. The next step your angels relay is planting seeds of new beginnings where the old ones stood. Each place where you have pulled a plant has now been blessed and requalified for new beginnings. You begin on that same row and with your hand shovel as you dig a little hole and plant a seed that the angels are handing you. Next you say a little prayer over the seed thanking the Creator for the new opportunity. The angels hand you a watering can of blessing that you gift to the seed sprinkling it liberally ensuring its success. The seed begins to immediately sprout when moistened by the blessings. All is in divine timing, 
my beloved so the outcome of this new plant will expand and come into your awareness when it is scheduled to do so. This is exciting you tell yourself and begin planting the next seed. You continue on down the row until all the places have been replanted. Your angels tell you that you can come here and work at any time now that you have remember the way. You would simply go through the same process on whatever row you choose to work with. You have completed your work for today and your angels tell you it is time to return. You begin walking back towards the elevator on the pink cloud path. The elevator door is there open waiting for you. The angels push the button and you instantly find yourself back in the white marble corridor. You quickly change your clothes. You catch a glimpse of your glowing essence in the mirror excited for the all the new beginnings and new possibilities that you have now been planted in your life. Your angels lead you back across the threshold of the golden door within, back into your spiritual heart chakra and then they assist the return of your spiritual essence back into your physical form. Take a deep breath to help you reorient as you wiggle your fingers and toes. When you are ready open your eyes. Go about your day remembering that your inner higher wisdom and angelic support staff are always at your service working with you to help you reach your highest most appropriate potential. Listen for those first thoughts that pop into your awareness and know without a shadow of a doubt that you are receiving daily spiritual guidance. Beloveds you are blessed beyond words and loved beyond measure, more than any earth plane language can ever express. I am Archangel Michael, the Creator's messenger, of love, joy, wisdom, light, peace, and grace.